Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here and you may have noticed from the title of this video that this is going to be an updated DIY cage video. So basically I'm going to be explaining a few changes that you may have noticed. Um, so I will get on with it in more detail. Okay, so the first change is that we do not have a Corex base. Now, before we had this cage, we had a 2x5 CNC, and now this is a 2x6. So what I did, we actually had a loft on the 2x5 as well. I kind of like bodged it together with some PVC tape to kind of make it waterproof as well in between, but because this table is wooden, and the Corex was slightly too narrow for the actual cage, so there were gaps, and I had noticed that somehow they were weeing down these gaps occasionally, and poo and hay and stuff was getting through as well. So I wanted to nip that in the bud as quickly as possible because I do not want the table being ruined. So I decided to put kind of like a lino base in it, so I fitted that a, about a week ago now and it's been working really well. Um, so this isn't technically lino, the pink and white spot material. It's actually a tablecloth, but it's a PVC tablecloth. So it works in the same way as lino would. Let me just sit down. So it works in the same way as lino does and it's a lot, lot cheaper. So I think for three meters, which is what I got, um, was about $14.99 with delivery which I didn't think was too bad whereas if you'd probably buy lino I expect it'd be a lot more because I do think it's quite pricey but what I did was kind of double sided tape it up slightly so it's already secure and sealed really well along all of the edge now on the outside to kind of cover that up because it was looking a bit ugly um, I decided to put some more washi tape and I did three layers of it because I just thought it looked a bit better with a thicker band so we've got that running along the whole side as well just to cover that up and make it look, look a little bit more um, finished and everything like that so following on from the front I've basically brought the tablecloth thing up pretty high so I did have three meters this is about two meters and a quarter I think this cage or two meters what 15 or something but um I brought the lino so if I actually turn it you can see that that's the pink color coming through and I brought that completely up so it's all sealed in really nicely and it's not going to like leak through a gap if I just cut it off there and then put the corex next to it so I brought it all the way up so it can't get out, um, which I thought was quite nifty, but also I didn't really secure this, so I can remove this easily. The only bit that is probably secured is the double-sided sticky tape along the front, because that kind of needed to be, because I knew that the girls would move it and I would probably move it whilst cleaning. But how I did secure the Corex, which I've done really pretty high, I've left about three squares at the top of a gap so I can hang things still. Um, I was noticing that Arabella was having a field day with chewing on the Corex when it was about this height because I think it was only literally about that just to try and keep it in and I wanted to let more light and ventilation and everything but she was just chewing it and she was going around the whole cage chewing every bit along the whole lines and I could just hear it at night and it was it was making a lot of noise but also I know that technically Corex is safe for them to ingest but I'd rather them not so um, I definitely wanted to change that and that was one of the big things as well as the fact that it was leaking a bit um, that I wanted to make the Corex a lot higher so it would kind of put her off chewing because she probably could still chew if she really wanted to but she hasn't had a go at it and it's been in here for at least a week now so I'm really happy with that but all I did to secure it was make two holes um, on a bit of Corex and put a cable tie in. I actually do need to trim this but um, basically two holes and then I brought it through the tablecloth as well so it's all secured really nicely to here. Now I'm waiting on some more cable ties because I do want to secure it a little bit better but I think at the top it's actually not too bad just being like that but I'm going along the whole way around the cage is how it is as well. That's really bad English. Basically I've gone around the whole cage the same as I have on this with the cable ties to secure it with the two holes 
and then it just secures to the grid really nicely. At the back of the cage where the bits of Corex join, I have used a PVC just white tape to go along the edges and seal it off so that there's no kind of gap. Well you can kind of see a gap there but um, and also you can see the polka dot um, lino com coming through there on the back but which I don't mind to be fair um, but that's the lighting coming through but anyway the PVC tape is just like electrical tape um, they can't grab it on a join unless they really did go for the corrects at the top but so it's nice and flush and it keeps it nice and watertight as well but also um, it kind of just finishes off those edges a bit better because there were gaps in that and it kind of looked a bit odd so I wanted to make sure that was completely finished. The next update you may have spotted, I'm sure you have watching this video so far, that we have not got it completely fleece anymore. So. We've actually just got about a one and a half grid of Carefresh. Now this has been in since yesterday so it looks a bit messy. Um, I, am, I am doing a cage tour on this um, particular theme so that will be up in the next couple of days or possibly even the same day, I'm not too sure. But um, basically we're now doing Carefresh here which is a lot, lot more hygienic. I did mention in the cage tour why it was mainly because when I was giving them the hay and everything it was just getting really wet really quickly so because three of them were all around it and generally piggies seem to unhygienically it may seem to us pee and poo where they eat so I wanted to kind of like change that and I thought the best way to do that and also to coordinate as well and make it pink was to go back to the carefresh that I used to have the girls on so it's just a paper based bedding which is completely safe so if they do ingest it it will just go straight through um, but they don't really chew on it anyway because it's not got much taste to it or anything but I initially actually had them on this bedding for a good while so these two were really really easy to kind of get used to it again and they're really loving the fact I just give them a big mound of hay and they can have a good old sit in it and go under it and play in it so it's really nice to see that but um yeah these two Clara and Arabella were really really easy to get on with this litter but when um Daphne was first kind of like looking at it because these two were already on in the hay pile and Daphne was just standing here thinking what the hell is that because she's never actually had care fresh um she's had we temporarily had like a, a tissue paper based bedding when they had their fungal infection and she's had fleece but also she's had um, wood shavings at the breeder but obviously she was quite young then so I'm sure she didn't remember but she looked a bit dubious to start with which is really quite endearing and adorable but she soon got on it about in about five to ten minutes she was like yep yeah, I like this and she could sit in the hay and go under it so that was really nice and I've actually found because one thing I was concerned about was that because it's a substrate and I have long haired piggies that a lot of it will get in their fur but I've noticed that only a minor amount gets in um, their fur. I think actually Clara's got a bit on her there but um, Daphne who is under the stairs generally she is the worst for getting hair you know like all of the bits in her hair because it's such a thick coat and it's like kind of like it's not a full-on curl but it's like a wavy kind of like beach curl so it generally is a lot thicker and denser so things can get stuck in there but they don't fortunately get matted so that's really good but she's hardly had anything in her coat so I'm really happy with that in fact the most thing she's probably had in her coat is just hay on her head from going in the hay pile which is really adorable too but I will wrap this up quickly I have got one more update about the cage but that is it the last little update is that we have installed a little light so this turns on really easily actually I'll just do it for you now takes a few seconds for it to start working but that's all it does so I just got that under there because I actually had that in their first original cage which was in this corner but the second level was always so dark so I decided to get that light so that occasionally I'd put it on for them but this is kind of just occasionally at night that I'll put it on or in like the darker you know earlier evenings that we're getting at the moment it's still so dark outside and also I like them to have a little bit of light so normally I actually just leave the twinkle lights on up here which does project a tiny bit of light but it kind of 
just settles it a bit because I probably wouldn't leave that on constantly because they do want to go to sleep it's going to kind of like upset them a bit so um, I decided to do that really if I can turn it off there we go um, so that's just plugged in down the side and they can't reach that at all but that's really the all the updates and so there's been a few changes obviously as I've said but really it's kind of like remained the same I actually do prefer the fact that the Corex is higher it makes it a bit cosier and prevents drafts and everything because obviously we're right by a window I do worry about that but I do close the curtains every night um, because I don't obviously want a nice a chilly breeze coming through for them but I think that's about it really so that's the cage updates for now so you will see this cage theme if you're interested to watch it soon and I hope you're all well and thank you very much for watching and I shall speak to my next one bye